That's so weird. He was turning it up until it was blasting the other day. So we've got Jigglypuff versus Mario. Yellow Mario. The Wario Alt. Or is is this just a warm up? No, no they, I think uh, Lord Toko said something like he wasn't quite ready, and she just gave him the courtesy of uh, a second there to fix himself. Early pressure from Shears. And it looks like he's not doing too badly for him. Lord uh, Toko in an edge guard position Shears, now, though. Shears overextended a little bit off stage there. Yeah, I think he did. I think he didn't appreciate that Lord Toko was taking the positional advantage. And that puts it away. You may hear Michigan in the background totally popping off for their representative. Uh, is he the the last one who's still in? I thought he I was so. uh, North Dakota. Lord Toko? Or, like, not Michigan. Well, he, he is repping ND number one. But Someone, Michigan's still popping off for him. I think everyone wants to see the upset here. Yeah, it's looking like... Uh, it's looking like... Most of the Michigan crew, I think. Though it is true that probably there are other people besides. And I, I think you're right. I think, I think around here, people enjoy watching Shears lose. Not quite right yeah, space Lord for Toko that. Not getting uh, really any big edge guards right now. Lord Toko not clanking with the fireballs. Just trying to run away. Giving up a lot of stage because of it. We'll see if uh, Lord Toko can clean up this edge guard. Yeah, he's going in deep oh. for it, though. Not Fortunately for him, Shears takes it back to the stage, but now he's got he's to come on minus a few jumps. And he manages it. Yeah, very slick reverse neutral air. Now he's up four stocks to two. Shears fishing. Yeah, somebody in the call car crowd called for a four stock. Still a little early for that. It, it's still possible. She just has to get in one more hit in, in order to silence the horn. Taking the hit from the push off. Doesn't quite get the up smash off in time. Fishing hard for, a, for an offstage hit. Just barely gets back on stage, and now he's under pressure. Drill push off. Nothing off of it, though. Oh, and they both whiff just, you know, in the open. Resets to the neutral we're seeing here. Lord Toko with not a bad startup. 86% not quite. Uh, Shears is able to get his forward air out before Lord Toko gets his neutral air out. Shears, not afraid to go off the stage. Yeah, Lord Toko just letting Shears put himself in an awkward position there but not quite capitalizing. The equalizer. Bowser throw evening up the stocks, though Lord Toko still has the percent advantage. That might be all he needs from that one hit. He's Lord Toko is being a very adventurous Jigglypuff. He is going way out there against a character who is known for being strong on stage. That was... I, I feel like that looked like Shears just did something, but I feel like the way in which he just did it made it a little sneaky. Mario always able to recover high if he has all his jumps and his down B. I'm surprised that Lord Toho didn't go for... didn't babysit that for a trade on the neutral air, because I'm pretty sure he can. The, the, the F smash is not working for him to edge guard yeah. that coin. I think that... Shears has just had really good positioning there, and he hasn't he hasn't let Mario's model get high enough for uh, Lord Toko to be able to use that to advantage. Yeah, Lord Toko not closing out these edge guards, but he's winning the majority in neutral. Still, if you if you win neutral more often than your opponent, but you don't actually kill, you can still lose the game. A back throw. That's one instance in which I would have thought forward smash for sure. But he takes the stock. Yeah. Then loses his own Got to by the even fireball. it back up as we go into nearly five minutes 
time spent in this game already. It hasn't felt that long, though, to be honest. Well, they did have like the 30 seconds at the beginning they threw away while Lotoka was, it was know, only eight. texting his mom or something. It was only eight, but still. Yeah, so it's only only just now coming up on three minutes, but. Yeah, we won't see a timeout. We and might see a rest. Oh, no. Shears using Mario's quick get out of jail options. Yeah, Lord Toga being very cautious. This won't kill, but it's not a good position for Jigglypuff. Lord Toga very nice getting back under. Yeah, very cautious about going in for sharks. Shears now has turned the ties. He's winning most of his neutral openings. But Lord Toko, uh, not quite enough. You know, Lord Toko is not clashing with these fireballs in situations that it really seems to me like it would be advantageous. He knows his character better than I do, so I should t I should take his word for it, but I'm still sort of surprised as a spectator uh. not to see him using that more often. This game's winner is... Shears making grasping motions with his hand to make up that what you will. He's probably talking about working out some of his uh, forearms. We're going straight back in. Three, two, one, go. So yeah, it looks like Lord Toko maybe doesn't know this matchup super well. Maybe, maybe not quite as well as uh, Shears knows the puff matchup. Not gonna kill though. Yeah, I think that is the first rest of this set, right? Yeah. Uh, nice. He slips right in there right when he needs to. But it's not a lead until he gets a percent. There's some percent. Chance for another rest? No. It didn't land back on the platform. Jump away, right option there. Oh, yeah, she's back down as what controller. he needs in order to keep an advantageous position. At that time, he was a little late to the ledge. Uh, he's hungry. He's hungry for that up smash. But another yeah, drill the back air. Toga's gonna need to up his DI game to get out of those. Try to challenge him, Invincible nice. Puff. Not, yeah, well, not, when, not when you're invincible. Can't challenge Invincible Puff. You're gonna have tough luck with that. Again, they drift back on these neutral airs just to make him safe. Good follow-up, but... Yeah, good. he couldn't get much more than that stray hit given the positioning. Another good stray hit. Lord Toga's racking up the percent, but that's going to make it harder to combo into a kill move. Oh, and Shears. Yeah, but, yeah. Lord Toga had, like, his only option there was to try to play for a trade because his stock was done. Right, going for the offstage edge guard. And what, you know, what does this lead into? Down smash for the stock. Lord Toko knowing his options and making him pay. This has the potential uh, to be... Another up B to safety. Yeah, Shears another has, just, up has just been... He's going he's gonna to play this coin by coin. Yeah, I, I can almost hear Shears saying, that's not true, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah, the roll not quite paying off for Lord Toko. Oh. Hungry for that second hit. He was able to make a save. That should kill from there. His back throw has been Shears' uh, uh, real kill move this, this set, I feel like. He's been able to set up a lot off it and, uh, and just chuck people right up the glass on when he wants. Oh, yeah, dipping Togo. real low. Huh. Otoko not able to close out that edge guard. And he DI'd off stage there. And Shears. he has basically no jumps. He gets the pound, but it's not enough. Shears takes it clean 2-0. But that, uh, and yeah, that's that's it, right? Yeah, Lord Toko has eliminated Shears advances. Yep. Shears flexing for the crowd.
So next we're going to have Rocket versus EG.